Hello everyone, welcome to the centralized admission process and today I'm here to help you out for centralized admission process. What is the centralized admission process? How to fill the form? What is the schedule? These all things we will be covering in the video. Today in this video, we will mainly focus on the schedule and the website steps that we need to go ahead for opting out into centralized admission process. So you can check it on Google with 11th admission, which is the simplest way. It will redirect you to the first website that is 11th admissions .in. On this website, you can see this website is for different divisions. That is Mumbai, Pune, Nagpur, Nashik, Amravati. And there are different mail IDs also if you would like to get connected and contact to all the authorities who are there for centralized admission process. If you need, if you seek any guidance, you can check with call us, contact number, email us. So this will be helping you out for centralized admission process queries, any queries that you feel you need to connect for. So now let's choose the region where we would like to apply. If I would like to apply for Pune region consisting of PMC and PCMC, so I will click over here. It will redirect me to the Pune and Pimpri Chinchwood Municipal Corporation area for centralized admission process 23-24. So now let's check over here. Here we are having some notification that is 11th online process 22-23 regarding attendance for registration and verification of camp. That is for colleges. It is not for students. This schedule is very important for stud uh, students to check uh, and opt for centralized admission process. Let me give you some introduction for this website. This website is for Pune 11th admission. Here again you can see Helpline number is given and even the mail ID for any queries. Here you can see student registration and login. So for students, it is students registration. For colleges, it is college login. There are different uh, tabs where you can check with the rules and regulation, brochures, manual, admission schedule and all. As of now, in this video, I will let you know about the tentative plan and the schedule which is there for centralized admission process. These are the important dates that we need to remember. If you go ahead and check with this schedule, you can see you can see here the circular which is there. The circular is in Marathi. I will help you out uh, in Hindi and even in English. So this is about the centralized admission process that we need to be ready for the entire admission process at uh, college level and even at institute uh, student level. So at different stages, this entire admission process will be there. There is, uh, There are different stages for executions, student registration and college registration. These are different parts. Students need to focus on the dates where student registrations are important. Now here, mock demo registration for student was from 28th May to 24th of May. I hope many of you have opted out and uh, tried for the registration, mock registration here. Student need with the help of parent can go ahead for the mock registration. Mock registration means the practice that you need to go for form one, part one filling. That is part one is about the student information where you need to uh, have entire details of students. So that was there for mock registration. Now coming ahead with part one registration. Okay, so it is part one registration that is general information of student in the part one which is commencing from today. So it is actual student registration and part one registration, which is commencing from 25th of May, 2023, from 11 a.m. onwards. That you should uh, do uh, with the help of parents. You need not to worry till the time. 10th standard result of state board, Maharashtra state board result announcement will be there. By that time also, you can do this. So you will get enough time to complete with part one. But I will inform and request and suggest everyone till the time you are not sure about the details, don't go ahead with any details. Have active contact number and email ID for the registration of part one. And please fill valid information. Form one, part verification by GCs. So whatever the information you will fill in the part one, that information will be verified. These were for these, there are different guidance centers. GC is for guidance centers and the guidance centers, if you feel that your application is not verified, you can visit various guidance centers available in your nearest area. So accordingly, they will help you out for, for this verification of part one. 
Once you do registration, once you do verification, then, then there will be part two. Now, this part, number four, is not for students. This is for colleges. So, number five is for students. It is part two. So, the first step will be part one. Second step, step will be verification by guidance center. And third step will be part two registration. Now, in this part two registration, student can enter their uh, colleges of choices and as per the preference if you want to secure your admission in any particular junior college you should keep that junior college on first preference you can go ahead with in the uh, other colleges also in the other preferences so student will have nearly five days duration for opting out the form and colleges uh, in the part two registration once the result of standard tenth will be declared okay now uh, there will be different reservation categories, admission allotment and seat, mat seat matrix. So seat matrix and everything will be declared. Provisional uh, merit list will be declared and then the cap rounds will come in. So cap rounds, one, two, three, there are generally three rounds, cap rounds and with these durations and the gaps, post to that, in every cap round, you will get nearly three days for reporting so that once the schedule comes, it definitely I will come back to you. And then there will be special round, special round one and special round two. So in these different five rounds, nearly you all will secure your admissions. And in this special round, there will be no caste reservations. There will be no seat matrix as per the caste reservation. So students, those who are interested for the colleges of their choices, keep first as the preference and then go ahead for the next uh, options. I will come back for part one registration process, even for the verification, how to go ahead and even for part two, how to fill the option form. So stay tuned and don't miss any notification which are there on school education and sports department, even on the website of Pune 11th admissions and if not Pune 11th admissions dot org dot in. So my dear students, all the best and best wishes for the entire journey of centralized admission process. Thank you so much.